Today we're going to be taking stamps. You're going to make your own stamp again, but we're going to be putting the stamps on the bleeding tissue paper. Once you take the, I call them leaves because it's kind of what they seem like once they're dry, the little squares off of your painting paper, you'll notice you have some white spots. Even I have some white spots. That's just where the bleeding tissue paper didn't get fully saturated with water. So those areas weren't able to have the ink leave the tissue paper and go into the painting paper. So it is what it is and we're gonna do something else with it to make it look even cooler. So with your piece of foam, we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it on smaller because this paper is gonna end up being the cover for our sketchbook. We're gonna end up making a sketchbook and this is gonna be the cover. However, the sketchbook that we're gonna make is going to be, like normally we would just fold this in half and then like you'd have a front and a back. But the sketchbook that we're making is bigger than this. So this is really just gonna be the front cover and it's gonna be like a little bit shorter. So it's gonna, the size is gonna be wonky. So I would suggest you do a single shape or symbol and you repeat that over and over. And so that way, regardless of which spot is, ends up being the front, top, up or down or sideways, it'll still look okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bitty one. And you want to decide on a simple shape or symbol. I think I'm going to do a star. You will need your red and blue pens again. And I think I might color it in. Going over it with my red pen. And remember, whatever you draw with red and blue, that's what's going to be left alone because the marker colors over the white. I think I might also do a circle. This is gonna look kind of like a converse symbol, but oh well. Okay, now taking, you know what? I'm going to snip the corners off of these and I think I'm going to color just inside the circle. Remember, you want to color fast and flip it over quickly. Nice thing about doing it small is I have less area to press down on on the back. And when you do this a bunch of times, if you have one or two that don't look awesome, then that's fine. Not a huge deal. And over time, if you're like, each one that I do is starting to look weirder and weirder because the foam is getting smushed, you have all this extra so you can make another one that's like, as close to the same as you can make it. The nice thing about doing stamps is that they're all the same, but at the same time, they're all different. So each of these is stars with a circle, but each one has its own cool differences. Each one is special. So I'm going to cover this whole thing and I might make a second one if I feel like I need to. Okay. So 
I think these kind of stamps are really cool because of the imperfections that they have because each one is its own little special thing and it's like its own little special baby and each one is different and it's just adorable. Um, I really like how with this one I did a symbol inside of a shape. So it's a simple symbol like a star or a heart or a horseshoe or I don't know, any simple thing inside of a simple shape. So it made the repeating pattern really identifiable. You could see what it is really easily. It's a star inside of a circle. But whenever the little tiny mess ups happen, it's not that big of a deal because you can still see what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a star. You can still see it. And then the repeating pattern of with the black marker ink on top of the color, I think ends up looking really cool. And it'll look really cool as the cover of our sketchbook. If you have any questions or you're having any trouble, remember just raise your hand. Please be respectful and don't shout out because it gets really confusing if everybody shouts out. So please respectfully raise your hand and help me out, help your classmates out. And we can all, I really hope that we all are able to enjoy this.